I don't think the emails will take her down because she's being protected by the Democrats. It would take anybody else down, but it's not going to take her down because she's being protected by the Democrats, which is a disgrace. But she's going to have to live with that when she runs because everybody knows that she is guilty as hell, okay? Everybody. Her whole life has been a big, fat, beautiful lie. It's been a terrible, terrible lie. Everything about her is a lie. My mistake there, that clearly, of course, not a Hillary Clinton campaign ad. It is Donald Trump, a uh, Republican frontrunner, laying into her over the email controversy. How concerned are you, how concerned is the party uh, that, that this cloud hangs over her campaign, presuming that she's the nominee, and into the general election? Well, I think that the uh, key for us is going to be um, having the American people understand where Republicans are um, on, on a number of different issues. And I think that um, Donald Trump, for example, you just saw his clip uh, right there. You know, um, the Republicans, the RNC, after the 2012 uh, election, uh, created a, an autopsy, a report that talked about um, very succinctly what they needed to do in order to win right. in 2016. And, and you know, be a more inclusive party, particularly with minority voters. Yeah. Exactly. And Donald Trump has effectively yeah. buried that report. You know, they said they needed to reach out to female voters. They said they needed to reach out to Latinos. And as you know, Donald Trump has angered both of those constituencies. Well, well nice pivot to the Republican Party's problems there. But on that issue of the email controversy, because this is something that feeds into a larger impression among voters, Democrat and Republican, about trustworthiness. And I just, uh, the recent poll, the most recent poll uh, from CNN ORC talking about honest and trustworthy, 43% for Clinton, 38% for Donald Trump. That's not an enormous lead uh, for, for Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump on that key issue, issue of trustworthiness. And, and the email issue feeds into that problem for her. How, do, how does she get over that hurdle, not just in the Democratic contest, but in a general election? Well, I think you've seen, um, if you look at the Republican side, you've seen a real um, a, a backlash, if you will, amongst voters against Donald Trump. Um, voters are not comfortable with his leadership. They're not comfortable with his stance on the issues. And I think that contrasts um, very clearly with where Democrats are. You saw in exit polls after Wisconsin, for example, after that race, uh, or that contest, where um, seven in 10 Democrats were optimistic about um, Bernie Sanders and uh, Secretary Clinton. So I think there's a real difference. And I I think that voters come uh, the general election um, when Trump becomes the nominee are going to have uh, a real uh, problem with him.